Okay, we're at the December 15th RBNO, which is at Probotics this week. And I've got my grapefruit, and I won't show you the grapefruit robot. No grapefruit, okay. And tell us who you are. And, uh, I'm Ron Grant. I'm one of the DPRG members. Cool. And today I have a Mega Donkey controller, which is a Mega 2561 with a touchscreen. And this is actually a spare one here. But I'm going to have this robot drive a figure eight, and I'm following a Bezier curve pattern that I have pre-programmed into the robot. So let's give this a shot and see if it's going to drive the curve. Uh-oh, and it's rebooting. <laughs> cool. Let's, let's try this again. I'm going to use up my time. You should buy some. Uh-oh, guess what? Cut. <laughs> Cut. Badly needs to be charged. <laughs> well, we'll come back to you. Sure. How about, who else have we got here? Ed. Tell us what you've got. All right, I got a, uh, what I call mini tank bot. Okay. Um, Mini Tankbot has LCD, or I'm mean, sorry, cadmium sulfide cells all around, six cells, and then the display is like a little bar graph of the intensity right now. So right now it doesn't use the data, but you can see when I shine on one of these, the bar graph changes. So here's a number one, number two, number three, right there. Number four, over here. Number five, and number six. Very cool. And these two are test patterns, but uh, I can also turn both the LEDs on to make yellow. So I'm probably going to change what it displays. But I'd like to have it use the sensors. And if you can see, some of the ambient light has it already reading a pattern. And as you turn, that pattern changes. So we've thought about figuring out how to do maybe some navigation or you could kind of do some simple like moth-like behavior <laughs> by having it follow a light, uh, you know, circle a light or flashlight or something. Oh, don't go towards the camera. Very cool. Thank you. Hey, I think I can demo this now. Let's give, this, oh, give okay. it a shot. We're going to give Ron another shot here. Okay, here we go. So what's it going to do again? It's going to do a Bezier curve uh, if it doesn't run under the table. So it's, it's following a pre-programmed uh, cubic or third order curve. So that's programmed into the robot and uh, it's approximately four feet from loop to loop there. So it can drive arbitrary patterns that I program into the robot. And so now it's repeating you know, with a slight Ooh. offset. So it can be doing a nice uh, job of cleaning the floor if it was so equipped. Floor cleaning attachments. That's my demo. <laughs> Very cool. So who else has something? Yeah, this is uh, my new Ruba basic stamp combo that I won in the contest. Hopefully it will follow the wall, but I don't think it will. Okay. What's your name? Nathan. Nathan. That's all right. Okay. You just have to play more for it. <laughs> and it's not... Uh, Does it like those crazy blinds? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Still under construction, huh? Yeah. Worked at home. Hopefully, going to be able to build a cable for it that will simplify all the wires. What have we got here? Is this uh, basic stamp? Basic stamp 2SX. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. We'll check back uh, next week and see how it's doing. See, people that do that, are like, okay. Well, let's see who else we've got. I see some other robots down here. I didn't get to make it, make it go more. Oh! So what have you got going on? Tell us your name and uh, what you're building. I go to his first. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Not quite ready, huh? Well, let's see what else we've got. <laughs> How about you guys? I see Charlie there. What are you working on? I'm working on uh, some snapping on eBay. Oh, okay. Well, very cool. Now somebody snapped somebody else. And how about you? Tell us who you are and what you're doing. Oh, Gus. Um, but anyways, just cheating here. <laughs> Wanted to see how easy it would be to hook up a servo to the Arduino. Okay. It, it was trivial. Just using the, uh, the built-in demo. This is a... Uh, 
took out a small section out of sweep, so instead of just sweeping back and forth nicely, it kind of sweeps one direction, and then it hits back home real quickly. Very cool. Yeah, it's cheap little servos that I got off of eBay months and months ago. And these are going to go in a robot eventually? Um, we'll see. One step at a time. Okay. We're playing right now. Very cool. So what else have we got? I see somebody over here with a robot. Tell us who you are and uh, what yours does. My name is Eric. This is a Lego NXT robot. And now it's controlled with a PS2 joystick. So that's cool. Basically, it's got an engine on the front here. It runs. And then, so we've got a running program on it. It's going to center the wheels. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Now, now if you yeah. Well, that's the like it's a Yeah, but in reality, I'm my friends like they're part of the same time. Hold on. All right. See what stuff like that have Cables loose. Oh, help. Loose cables. There we go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the joystick connects through a circuit port. That's going to be here on the back. Okay. And it's controlled by this microprocessor, which is the, called the NXT. And is this going to be an autonomous robot eventually? Yes, we'll be adding sensors to the side and to the front. And we can also use it with a GPS unit for navigation outside. Very cool. Okay, thank you very much. So let's see, I think I see one more robot down here. I'm going to make one more pass. Now the guy selling these, it's got to be real fun for him. Charlie's still working on his eBay. Ah, uh, there's somebody. I'm testing it out now. Testing it out. Okay, so tell us what you're testing. If it moves. So I see a Roomba with a wooden platform, and what kind of controller have you got on here? It's uh, the basic stamp. Basic stamp, okay. And, and it looks like it's using an ultrasonic sensor. Correct. And what's it trying to do? Uh, it'll try to move to where the object is angled at. Let's see if I can get over here where we can actually see your sensor moving around. Uh, so we may have the wrong code in the wrong spot right now. I'm thinking. There we go. You can see the little sensor there under the wooden platform. And it's trying to find the paper cup. I've got to be careful because, say, 2250, that's. That's right below the price I went up. Yes, it looks like it found it. So, so it reoriented the room but a point toward the cup, it looks like. That's the go. So, very cool. Yep. Well, we'll check back for uh, more progress next week. Okay. Thanks a lot. And I think that's uh, everybody at the RBNO for the moment, so we'll check in again next week. Yeah, just enough to drive it.